BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to bring you the all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast. And here's your host, Dustin Starr, featuring special guest, founder of BeFreeCBD, Daryl Bird. Here we go! Hello everybody and welcome to episode 24 of the Championship Wrestling Podcast presented by Be Free CBD. It's another happy Monday from Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you for joining me wherever you are. I am Dustin Starr and today... My lovely Maria will join me right here for the first time since episode two. And you guys ask about her all the time. So she joins us right here in just a few moments. But first, this podcast is presented by BeFreeCBD.com. Of course, BeFreeCBD is perfect for aches and pains. Or if you're struggling with anxiety, you can check out their oils, bath bombs, flour, and gummies. And check out these gummies. They have CBN. For nighttime, they help you sleep. And then also, of course, the flower you can actually smoke seems to get in your system faster. There's no high, but it makes you feel pain free. And I was there this week at the brand new location at Bahalia Crossing in Kyerville, Tennessee. It's going to be an awesome facility, and the grand opening is coming in just a few weeks. And all of you are invited. So be sure to follow at the letter B, free CBD on social media. And go ahead and follow at CW30 Wrestling. And of course, I'm at Dustin Star. And it seems like every live stream on YouTube, or even each week in the mailbag, just like this week, there's a question about my Maria. And so you ask for it. And today you've got it. Of course, Maria is my wife. She's also my co-host each week on Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Or maybe I'm her co-host. Anyways, we tag team that and multiple other sports. This should be fun. And I'll also recap Saturday's Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Starring NWA Women's World Champion Thunder Rosa. And then we're going to look ahead at what's coming up this week and where you can find championship wrestling in the news. And of course, I'll answer all of your questions in the mailbag. And maybe my Maria is going to join us for that too, because there's always a Maria question. But my Maria is up next. The all new championship wrestling podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. And you tell all the rest of fans, for cap's sake. Hello, I am the man of the hour and too sweet to be sound. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. My Maria, welcome to the podcast. Hello, thanks for having me. Welcome back. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a while. You can follow my Maria at the Maria Star every single week. The fans ask about you in the live chat. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So when are you going to join me for the live chat on YouTube? I don't know. I'm going to have to put makeup on and stuff like that. (laughs) So we'll see. I'm not making any promises. And then also in the mailbag, there's always some good questions for you. So you have to join me in the mailbag today. Okay. Because I know there's a Maria question in there. But things are so much different than 22 episodes ago. That's the last time that you were on the podcast was 22 episodes ago. Does it feel like that long? No. Was that like six months? It's been six. You've been doing the podcast for six months already? Yeah. Wow. Amazing, huh? Yeah, a lot's changed. Talk about the changes. They hear me talk about it each and every week. So how is it different from being in studio 22 episodes ago and what we're doing now? Just well, we haven't thing. left the house since March, really. So it's pretty different around here. I prefer being in the studio as to being at home in the studio, but um, it's a, it's had its ups and downs. Yeah, there's definitely some freedom of doing it at 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. or something instead of having to do it at noon or 11. Like on a lunch break or something like that. Yeah, for sure. You know, just kind of making it work. But there's been some fun stuff. You did a top 10 slaps interview with Brian Trammell. That's available at www.stspod.club. That's a cheap plug, but... 
There was a lot of good names on there. Yeah, that was fun because it's actually been a while since we've been in the ring and just reliving some of those more memorable slaps was was fun. There was a lot of things I was waiting on you to talk about. Like what? I mean, you strutted with Jeff Jarrett. We were talking about slaps. We weren't talking about struts. Well, but, I mean, the culmination of that is you slapping him. Well, <laughs> I guess certain things stick out in my mind. Other things stick out in your mind. Or a uh, Bronco Buster from X-Pac. We were talking about slaps. I know, but that all set up. <laughs> that All that happened because we were trying to slap him. <laughs> mm. We weren't talking about most embarrassing moments. Okay, so a couple of topics. This week, it was announced by David Marquez that live action will return in the next 30 days. Yeah, that's exciting. You know, we've had some really good shows, but it, nothing beats a live live new show every single week. Now, it's unknown if there's going to be an audience there or I'm sure not. there will not be an audience, if I had to guess. Well, now that WWE and AEW have done it with kind of staff member type of audience, and I know you've seen that even though you don't watch it each and every week, can you see them being ahead of the curve on something like that? I don't know if it really matters as long as you have the production in place to compensate for that. Am I allowed to fly to Hollywood, California to beat up Ray Rosas? If you do, you'll have to quarantine for two weeks. <laughs> so you You're better be looking for volunteers <laughs> to let you live with them for two weeks. This is a perfect segue for our next big announcement right here. You're talking about quarantining and social distancing. So Dave and Buster's watch parties are returning July 19th for WWE Extreme Rules. Yeah, I'm excited about that, but I'm also cautious. Cautiously optimistic, I guess, is the best words for it. You know, it's it's going to be fun, but it will be different. There will be strict social distancing enforced, even if it, I'm the only one enforcing it. <laughs> well, we've been out to eat a, a couple of times, and... There are very empty restaurants as far as what I mean by that is there are a lot of tables missing. I would say there's we've been out to eat three times and only one of those times did I feel uncomfortable or unsafe. So it can happen. People just have to be careful and, and cautious and know that that virus is still out there and can still affect thousands, millions of people. But we're going to do it, and it's going to be fine. We're going to have safe boundaries in between people and July 19th. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I was actually there last week. A lot of tables have been removed, and, of course, they're opening in phases. They weren't able to be open on Monday and Tuesday at first or certain hours. I think, well, Memphis is moving into phase three. Yeah, but, I mean, as far as Dave and Buster's opening locations, they're moving forward in their next phases, and that's why it's announced. Now that we're able to do those watch parties, it's going to be a lot of fun, but also Dave and Buster's and us will make sure to be as safe as we possibly can be. Yeah, so if you get on the slap list that way. (laughs) That's how you make the top ten slap list? (laughs) Get too close. Get slapped. All right, well, you're going to join me again here in the mailbag in just a few moments, right? Okay. All right, cool. Last week on Championship Wrestling, Happy Man squared off against Ray Rosas, and then... Give me a real fight! Give me a real match! Careful what you wish for, Bateman answered the challenge, and all hell broke loose, oh yeah! Plus... Viva Van went one-on-one with Thunder Rosa. And in our main event, Ice Williams versus Danny Limelight Rivera. All that and so much more. Watch episode 63 in full on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. The Championship Wrestling Rewind is brought to you by Be Free CBD. It's always fun talking to my Maria. She just has a way of putting things. And I know to stop while I'm ahead. Been together 10 years, 5 years of marriage. I know what's up. (laughs) And I know you just heard the promo for last week's action. Happy man, he was in the ring. Man, the one and only appearance. If 2020 can grant me one wish... Can I just get 
happy man on the friendship farm with Gentleman Jervis, Sweet Robin, and Super Beetle. Please. Ray Rosas made short work of Happy Man, then opened up his big mouth and stuck his foot in it. Bateman answers an open challenge and beats him up. Oh, yeah. Then Thunder Rosa versus Viva Van. Of course, Thunder Rosa just on fire right now. Current NWA Women's World Champion. Then we had a pretty quiet Howdy Price. Didn't have very much to say. Brought Levi Shapiro to the ring. He handled some business with Adriel Noctis. And as we get kicked back off here in the next 30 days, I'm sure we're going to see Levi Shapiro versus Buddy Royal. And then, of course, in our main event, we had Danny Limelight Rivera versus Ice Williams, two of the fastest, most talented athletes here at Championship Wrestling, went toe-to-toe. And Jamie Ivey still trying to recruit Ice Williams. I think we're going to see that story start to move forward when we get back to action as well. That was episode 63. You can watch it on our official YouTube channel at CW30 Wrestling. Also, we have our live reaction on our official YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody who joined me there immediately following the show on Saturday. Also, rewinding back to last week, big shout out to our friends in Boonville, Mississippi at EPW Wrestling. Looks like they're back in action. The Championship Wrestling Lookout is brought to you by Be Free CBD. Look out every single Thursday at 9 a.m. Central. You can catch me on Sports 56 Mornings with Peter and CJ talking professional wrestling. You can listen live from anywhere in the world at sports56whbq.com. And it's also available on podcast. Then at noon, it's an all new Grind City Wrestling over at grindcitymedia.com slash podcast. It's myself, E-Rock, Eric McMahon, and Devin Walker, baby. We tell you all about the best wrestling we've watched all week. Then, next Saturday, oh man, check this show. We're going to have Cody and Brandy Rhodes in studio. There's going to be highlights from that special interview. It was from 2020, just a couple of months back. We're going to relive that. Good stuff. AEW in the house. Lacey Ryan versus Sandra Moon in women's division action. Of course, Watts is back to defend his Heritage Championship against Stroke Daddy Ricky Starks. Wait a minute. Stroke Daddy on Father's Day weekend? Oh, yeah. And then we're going to watch Royce Isaacs defend the United TV title in our main event against Dan Joseph. All that and so much more. Stay up to date and follow us at CW30 Wrestling. It's time for this week's mailbag. Mailbag. Each and every week, I answer your questions in the mailbag, and typically these come from my Instagram story, at Dustin Starr, and today, I'm not answering these questions alone. My Maria is here to answer them for me. Oh, great. (laughs) I say for me, but really, you're going to answer them with me, but but really, you answer them for me. Okay. Right? Let's, Let's get started. Do you still wrestle? Yes, of course. Of course. Why do people ask if I still wrestle? We're going to have to figure out how you'll socially distance wrestling, but... I don't know how you can socially distance a headlock or a punch to the face or... (gasps) We'll see. Yeah, so coming (laughs) soon, I will be back in the ring. I do still wrestle. Don't let the suit fool you. I'll still rip it off and kick some butt, and I'm coming for Ray Rosas. Mm. Right? Um, Absolutely. Is is this match ever going to happen? I don't know. COVID is been your main enemy. <laughs> Let's get revenge on COVID. All right, next question. This one's for you. Maria helps a lot during your matches. Is there a match you wish she never got involved with? There's probably more than one. There is more than one. <laughs> so the first one that comes to mind for me, I know what it is and I'll say it, but you go first. No, I don't have a specific one. I just know how many times you've held somebody up and they ducked and then you got slapped pretty hard. What about future WWE Hall of Famer Mickey James. You get in the ring to help me out with Nick Aldis and here comes Mickey James and she 
tackles you. Yeah, but is that you wishing I didn't get involved or me wishing I didn't get involved? I don't know. I had to hear you <laughs> complaining about it for several weeks. Or what about when Matt Hardy, Broken Matt, he, he bit your hand? Oh, yeah. That's probably one of the worst because uh, he actually bit my hand. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got kicked so hard in that match by the luchador yeah. that I lost feeling in my legs I for a moment. I thought you broke your spine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but there were quite there a few. There have been a couple of matches with James Storm, too, where he's like poured a whole thing of beer on me. You remember slipped that? in his beer on the stage. Yeah, that was a Halloween show. I remember that. So there's several matches that uh, you probably should not have. You'd have been better off if you didn't get involved in. If you didn't need saving all the time. <laughs> All right, next question. Favorite parts of Tennessee outside of Memphis? I really didn't think there was anything outside of Memphis in Tennessee. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's some safari parks that are kind of nice. We really haven't. We don't venture up north, even in Tennessee. We only go south to the beach. I would say Cookville, Tennessee. Why? I won, a, I won two Mr. Tennessees there, that back to back. That means nothing to <laughs> anybody else except for you. <laughs> All right, next question. How was Wyatt's baseball game? Oh, did that come from Abby? Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Abby. It was pretty hot. It was fun. All right, so socially distancing. You were talking about that earlier. They actually had spray paint on the ground of where that you should. That people were not following. Where you should be sitting. Of course, I was following it. Nobody was following it. Ugh, I was. But the game was good. Wyatt played well. It was pretty hot outside. It was. That was cool. But yeah, it was good to be back, you know, watching a little bit of baseball. Speaking of baseball, next question is not really a question. It's a comment. I miss the Redbirds. Oh, me do too. You were there 10 seasons. This would have been my 10th season. Do you really miss it or are you enjoying the time off? Um, at first, I probably was enjoying the time off, but now we're dead in the middle of summer and we just so badly want things to be normal again, but I don't see that happening for, for a while. I miss it so much. Every time I get a notification on my phone, like especially during the day at like 11 a.m. We just need to delete them. Oh, man. <laughs> so we stop reminding ourselves what we could be doing right now. <laughs> All right. Last question. Do you see WrestleMania taking place in Hollywood as scheduled? You already answered that on Instagram, so I already know your thoughts, and they're the opposite of mine. I oh. think I think it'll happen only because look at what's happening right now. People There's... are forcing things to be open, even though clearly some areas aren't ready. And by this time next year... There's a lot of time there, between yeah. now and then, but I just base my opinion and I say no that it, because they're already working on a plan B from what I hear. And then also Dave Marquez, when I talk to him, he tells me how shut down California is or was. And that's a whole year away, though. And people are I don't know what they're like in L.A., but in Memphis, they're moving forward, to opening up no matter how many cases are growing per day. So. I'm happy you said yes. I didn't say you could go. <laughs> I'm definitely going. All right, that's it for this week's mailbag. <laughs> I better stop while I'm ahead. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Championship Wrestling Podcast presented by BeFreeCBD.com. Pain is gone and so are we. Thank you once again. For joining us on the Championship Wrestling Podcast presented by Be Free CBD. Check them out. The letter B, free, CBD.com. I said it. I was in the store last week. It's going to be awesome. But don't forget, they ship anywhere in the world from their website. And man, their prices are awesome. So if you already take CBD or if you've been thinking about trying it, please try Be Free CBD. I am shipping some of the 1,200 milligram over to my partner, Dave Marquez, in Hollywood, California. Boom, that easy. Got a new customer right there. Try them out, BeFreeCBD.com. And we're going to catch you right here again next week. I'll have another special guest. And until then, I am Dustin Starr saying so long, everybody. Saturday at noon, don't miss Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. Cody and Brandy Rhodes join us in studio, plus Watts defends against Ricky Starks and Royce Isaacs defends against Dan Joseph. This Saturday at noon, right here on CW30 Memphis.